It's me, Kylie's mom. And the reason I look more hideous than normal is because <laughs> my daughter, Kylie's Cat's 22 here, she's got her own YouTube, is la that's who you hear laughing at me. She <laughs> wanted me to try to do a, to follow someone's makeup tutorial because sadly, most of my experience of doing makeup came from the 1980s when I was a teenager in the age of Aquanet and blue eyeshadow. What is Aquanet? It's this hairspray that can make your hair like a helmet. Oh, goodness. So that n neither wind nor rain nor dark of night can move that. Not even rain? Well, it can withstand some rain, but you'd have really crunchy hair afterwards. Ooh, but anyway, yuck. yeah. It was not, was not a proud time in fashion or makeup, the 1980s. But one well remembered. Anyway, so I said, get me... Tell me some, like, beauty YouTube person's uh, makeup routine to follow. So she gives me Mackenzie Ziegler, <laughs> <laughs> who is 15, <laughs> to try. So I'm going to try to follow Mackenzie Ziegler, who you may or may not know is from Dance Moms. She's 15. I don't know if she's 15. Or 14, something like that. She's young. Um, beautiful girl, doesn't really need hardly any makeup at all anyway, so I don't know how good this is going to work, but we'll give it a try. So to start off, before I even started, I've already moisturized my face with my moisturizer that I use, which is... You're supposed to say it also. Clinique. How do I see if it's focusing? Well, this is hard. Clinique Redness Solutions <laughs> Moisturizer. And this is really weird to me but here's all I have left of it but when I put this on when it starts getting um, empty I use a plastic knife to, to dig it out and put it on my face like if you have long nails like how are you supposed to be digging in this jar I putting... explained to her you use your knuckle I don't like that well that's how every face cream if you're gonna put it in a jar should come with like a little spreader so anyway so I've already put that on also on my under eyes I already put on uh, Dr. Brandt Needles No More. Oh, where do I <laughs> This is the camera. Mom. I know. <laughs> this is hard. How do I get it to focus? It, that's good enough. It can read it. Alright, anyway. This came in one of my FabFitFun boxes. And I like the idea of it, but I really don't know that it's doing anything. It says it's an eye depuffing gel, so I'll probably just use it till I run out. I don't know if I would buy that again. Anyway. And I've already done my eyebrows because... Mackenzie Ziegler doesn't even have to do anything to her eyebrows, but like fill them in. She has eyebrows. I have two little tufts. One little tuft here and one little tuft there. And I have to draw my eyebrows on every day. And I would never want to show you how I do it because I'm terrible at it. Um, and I cannot do these big giant eyebrows of today. So I did that off camera. But just for what it's worth, what I use is this e.l.f. pencil. And I like this one because... If you are blonde, it's very hard to find a good eyebrow pencil that isn't too dark and isn't too light or too red. And this e.l.f. pencil is very ashy and taupe. It's really good. The color. I like it. Taupe. So usually what I do is I kind of lightly draw my brows in first with this. And then right now I'm using this stuff, NYX Eyebrow Gel. And this is pretty much about the same color as that eyebrow pencil. A good like, oh this is actually called blonde. But it's a good, like, ashy taupe color. And um, this stuff is waterproof. And um, I use this little brush and spoolie that I actually got with different brow stuff uh, to put it on. And this stuff, like, it really does, it, like, stays on all day. You could, like, sweat, be in the rain. I haven't tried it swimming yet. But this stuff stays on like a rock. It's great. Like I rock. like products that stay on all day. Kylie yells at me all the time. Mom, you can't expect... No. Because she wants a lip thing that will stay on all day long that she won't have to reapply. And I'm like, Mom, that is like, you can't expect something like that. But I have that, which is why I feel I have the right to expect it. My lip stuff, I use this stuff, L'Oreal. What is this even called? I think it's the, it's not invincible. Infallible? Yeah, that's it, infallible. These liquid, um lipsticks and these are great and these really stay on like a good six to eight hours even through a little bit of eating and drinking 
And like when I was a lunch lady, like I would put this on in the morning when I get home, this was still on like perfect. So Yeah, but she would get a butthole lip. <sighs> Not until the end of the day, and that's to be expected. So anyway, so I'm going to start Mackenzie's video over here. You're not going to be able to hear it, but I already watched it, so I know like what she's doing, but I'm going to keep up as she goes. So the first thing she does is she puts on primer, and I don't have any of my own primer. I didn't even know what primer did, so I had to borrow some from Kylie. So um, I borrowed this, No Pore Blem. <laughs> Isn't it fun to say? By Touch in Soul. No Pore Blem. <laughs> and according to her... Uh, primer like fills your pores and makes your other makeup go on well. I don't feel like I have like big pores or anything like that, but it's like okay. Can I just ah, mom? Can this I just, is weird. Can I just is this supposed to be mom, clear? Mom, can I just tell you? Okay. Like the areas that people usually focus it is here and their nose. Oh okay. Those are like the areas. Well, I'll they just really put it all over it. to be safe. Oh my goodness. Oh, and you can see how red my skin is. That's not really like from sunburn or anything. It's I have red skin. Like my capillaries are too close to the surface, and um, that's why I like that Clinique Redness Solution line. Does it really do anything? It's definitely helped. I mean, it's like really kind of bad right now because it's kind of hot. And I just had washed my face before I came out here, so like my face is a little extra red from scrubbing. But yeah, it has helped over time. I feel like it. And the day cream, which I don't really use because I don't like it because it, it has sunscreen in it and I just hate the feeling of it. Um, it has like a green hue, which kind of helps counteract redness if you have a problem with redness. All right, so I put this corrector. on all over. You know what? Let's just take one thing at a time. <laughs> all right, so I don't like that. That was sticky and weird. <laughs> Mom, that's the, that's the purpose of primer. <laughs> to make your face sticky and weird? It makes your makeup stick to it. So now I'm using my Wet Beauty Blender to wipe my hands Oh off. my goodness! <laughs> that sticky primer. Alright, so let's see. She's putting something else on her face right now. Some cooling thing that she doesn't know what it does, but... Milk makeup. Makes her feel good. So I'm not, I don't have that, and I'm not going to do that. Oh, she's putting sunscreen on. Bad me, I'm not putting sunscreen on. But I do have... Um, <laughs> I do sometimes use sunscreen. I have this sunscreen that I like for my face if I know I'm gonna be out in the sun um, another thing that I use as sunscreen is I got this Kula face setting spray which I'm not gonna to use today either um, but that's SPF 30 so that's what I tend to use why are you not using it today because I don't really like it mom it makes my face feel like I have a very super thin sheet of plastic wrap over it. I mean, the feeling goes away after a little while, and one good thing about it is it smells really good. It smells like an expensive store, but uh, I don't like to wear it every day. Plus, I hardly don't wear that much makeup every day, so it's not like I would normally need it, I don't. You hardly don't wear that much makeup every day. Normally, I just wear um, my eyebrows, mascara, lipstick, and usually just some face powder. Not eyeliner? No, I don't really use eyeliner anymore. So, I don't really normally need face setting spray for that. But, um, I don't know. This is going to be kind of weird actually doing this whole face of makeup. Because, uh, interestingly, after we do this video, our plan is to go kayaking. <laughs> so, I think I can safely say I probably will be the most glamorous person kayaking on the lake today. And I will be the most glamorous person swimming today. But I have half a mind to stick my face in the water and see if my eyebrows stay on oh, that. I think they will. They're good. I mean, you have to like use like cleanser to get them off in the shower. So now she's doing her concealer. I don't normally wear concealer, but I have this little free sample from Clinique, so I'm going to use that. That's tiny. I know. It's Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer, and it's really white, but I think that's what you want, right? Well, you want a few shades lighter than your skin. So should I use a brush, or can I just use my finger, or what do I do? Most people use their beauty blender. Oh. All right. <laughs> Which I have here. And Kylie had to show me how to, like, thoroughly wet it. Whoa! Was that way too much? That's, like, enough for both eyes. Yeah, but 
I need it for my eyes. Yeah, there you go. And then I think I need it right for there. And do your nose. Your nose is so red. Thanks. You're welcome. See, look, I need more. And my nose. And then do I, where else do I need it? Let me see your face. I don't know, wherever you have like pimples. I feel whatever. like people put it here. So I'm gonna, oh, and I think people put it there too. I'm gonna put it in both those places also. All right? Sure. All right, now I just blend, blend it. You don't wanna wipe, no wiping, dabbing. So, dabbing. Oh yeah, make those weird faces. Oh. <laughs> what? I want to wipe. No wiping, that's not good. It speeds up aging. Wow, this is crazy. And promotes wrinkles. Now, Mackenzie put it on her eyelids too. Should I put on my eyelids? I, I also have primer though. Well, you I'll do what she did. You don't have to, but some people use it as their primer on their well, eyelids. Well, I'll do it on my eyelids, because that's what she did. And that seems easier. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you look so interesting! Wait, turn towards me. <laughs> am I using it on the right side? Is this where, I'm, where am I supposed to be using it on this flat side? No. No, I'm doing it Pointy okay? Side. Okay. See, now I feel like this dried in the meantime. That's why people usually do one area at a time. Or maybe you just took too long. Oh, that could be. I'm tired. You need, like, see, your forehead is now a different color than the rest of your face. But I'm going to be putting foundation over it, so okay, it's fine. okay, right? Sure. Ooh, don't get on that eyebrow. I worked hard on that. <laughs> How's that? Is that enough? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what do we do next? Oh, actually, Mackenzie doesn't use foundation because she's young and beautiful and doesn't need it. Uh, but I'm going to. And I have... Because you're old and ugly and I'm it. old and ugly and I need it. <laughs> this was also a free sample. If you order Clinique online from their website, which I would always totally recommend rather than buying it from a beauty counter if you like Clinique, um, they always, always, always always have some deal going where you can get like three six eleven free piece sample things so i happen to have this you like my um, lips oh mackenzie's nice. getting ahead of me do you like my lips Ooh, you should show everyone your jeffree star what color is that <laughs> cherry wet cherry wet that's nice look at that nice <laughs> All right, so this was one something I got free in one of my orders, and it's color 01 linen. AKA pale. Ooh, look at that. So this just goes all over my face? Yeah. Okay. Interesting technique. I don't know how to do you this. You swipe it. Why are you making that face? To get it in between my eyebrow and my hair. <laughs> You're so cute, Mom. I love you. <laughs> I love you, too. I what must love you. Me? I'm doing all this. This wasn't my idea. This whole channel wasn't my idea. <laughs> i got other things I could be doing. It's like, not your color. <laughs> <sighs> well, well, maybe once I blend it in, it'll be my color. So, so let's blend. Let's blend. Oh yeah, that isn't my color, is it? Hmm. <laughs> Don't wipe. Ah, sorry, I am wiping. I know. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. <laughs> it's very hard not to wipe. You just gotta not. You just gotta not, she says. Well, I can definitely see why people do their eyebrows after all this. <laughs> You doing good, Mom? I don't know. It's a lot of work. People usually do it faster than that. You can go faster, but just dab, not wipe. Do I go over my lips? I feel like
feel like people do that. If you want to, but you don't have to. I don't usually ever. Do you even wear foundation? No, I don't like using foundation. I just do concealer. Like Mackenzie? Yeah. How's it going? I don't know. It's not a good color, that I'll tell you. <laughs> you look very pale. And weird. <laughs> I don't know, Kylie. Does it seem like I pretty much, like, color? Like, did I? Is it, like? You also want to blend... Here, look at me. You want to go past your jawline down right. to blend it into your neck. I'm not sure I care about that today, but all right. Boy, this is weird. I never, like, I only tried foundation a little bit when I was a teenager. Man, back in the 80s, the foundation was horrible, horrible, horrible. It was just cakey and it didn't really look good on anybody back then. Not that this looks good on me now, but it seems like, oh, there's like stuff all in my forehead wrinkles. That's gross. <laughs> seems like foundations are a lot better, more natural looking. Not this is an example, but. And also they have like BB creams and CC creams, <clears throat> you know? And what is that? Like tinted moisturizer? Yeah. It's right. like a lesser foundation. All right, so let's see what we do next. I think the next thing I is going to do is set this with, well, I don't have setting powder, but this is regular face powder, right? This is like what I could use. Yes. Okay. Okay, so yes, yeah, setting powder is next. I have this Clinique. Blended face powder and brush, and it's zero two transparency. And it, it's like got a little sifter. And I use a big brush that is from e.l.f. I had this, I actually had this brush. Hopefully set this masterpiece. Oh my goodness. Oh, that does look better. This is terrible though. Like, look how that's all in my forehead creases. <laughs> what happens if you sweat while you're wearing all this makeup? She's gonna do bronzer. So I'm borrowing this from Kylie because I do not have bronzer. It's Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Physicians Formula. It smells really good. It smells like summer. So what brush should I use for this? Bronzer brush. I don't have that. I have the same uh, brush I used for... No, that no. 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 Thanks. Mm. All right, so the, the bronzer, okay. Let's see, she's going like this. She puts it on her forehead. Oh, her jawline, too. Thank you. You're welcome. A nice face. We need like a montage of all your funny faces. I feel like I look much better in camera than I do on camera than I do in the mirror. Looks very makeup -y in the mirror. Oh, I think now she's using blush. And I don't have powder brush. Blush. But I have this chubby stick from Clinique. See, you're not supposed to put that on after you've already set your face. And this is nice, because you just... Oh yeah, I could tell why you wouldn't want to do this now. Well, no. Yes. Anyway, it's a cr it's like a cream formula, but it blends in real easy. Not sure where you're supposed to put blush. She kind of went over that real quick. Mom, where do you think you would put blush? Well, somewhere up here. That's where up I'm putting. Up there. Well, here. Why are you on putting my it all over here? No, not That's... on your cheekbones. It's on the apples of your cheeks. 
Oh, well, in the 80s, we it would go all the way to here. Mom, Sorry. This is 2019. Well, Ma Mackenzie didn't explain it good. Wait, that Mackenzie, she's blaming this look on you. People use their beauty blender. Oh, for blush? If it's that type of a formula, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna like wipe it off. That's why people do blend this before they set their face. Mm -hmm. I will say the beauty blender's nice and cool. It feels good. It's kinda hot today. Well, I don't think that looks that good, but I think I'll just throw a little powder over it and Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Cause people don't put it there. I I put it on the apples of my cheek, see? You put it too high. Alright, next is highlighter, and I didn't have any of that either, so I borrowed some, oh here it is, so I borrowed some from Kylie, and it's Ofra Highlighter Star Island, nice. Now, unfortunately, Mackenzie goes kind of quick over this too, but I can kind of see where she's putting the highlighter. What should I use for a highlighter brush? Thanks. Oh, she's already on eyebrows, but my eyebrows are done. So where does the highlighter go? I know on my nose, right? Oh, good gracious. What's wrong? Just don't. Just don't what? Don't, just don't do stuff before I answer it. <laughs> All right, where does the highlighter go? On your cheekbones. Which is here. Yes. Oh, that's pretty. But then on my nose, right? Not all the way down your freaking nose. Well, where on my nose? Only on like the very tip of it. Here? Yeah. And your Cupid's bow. What about my chin? No, no, don't. I've seen people That's do it excessive. Their... That's when you're a crazy person. What are you doing? Taking That's a highlighter. I but I was removing it from where I wasn't Mom. supposed to put it. Oh my goodness. I like the highlighter. Again, I feel like this is like enhancing my wrinkles, but of course this is a tutorial from a 15 year old who doesn't have wrinkles, so show everyone your amazing makeup that Do you, you like did zoopity zoop. Yeah, it's very bold. Good for kayaking. I'm we're swimming. I'm gonna see if this stays on while I'm swimming. All right, so I retouched up my brows. Ooh, now eyes. Okay, so for eyes, I have this. NYX Ultimate. You're not even gonna use my palette? Shadow palette. No, I'm gonna use something tamer like what Mackenzie used. She did like just soft brown, Wimpy. which is probably good. They were 99 cents a pound. I've literally, my whole life, never seen cherries 99 cents a pound. So which of these brushes should I use for eyeshadow? This is, I'm gonna make this really simple for you, okay? Okay. So, see this one? Mm -hmm. This one's gonna be used for the eyeshadow all over your lid. Okay. And then you can use this one for doing your crease and under your eye. Okay, well she didn't do under her eye, so which is good because it started out nice and simple. She just did some shadow and then her crease and that's it. So this is an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush that she, Kylie has advised me is what I should use. And then I have this other brush, Lux? Luxie. Luxie? Can't tell if that's, I think that's 231. I think I got this from an Ipsy bag. And here's my. So Mackenzie used like a light shade on her lid. So I'm going to, I think, do this one here. I can't really see that. Should I do something darker? If you want to. Well, what do you think? I don't know. If you want to, then sure. Let's see what Doesn't this matter. one looks do like. whatever you want. That one's very light you're also. You're not dipping in hard enough, and you're not trying to put it on your lid hard enough. Let's try this one. You need to not do all that padding nonsense. I've seen people on wiping. YouTube pad it. That's for a different technique. Do wiping, yes. 
my goodness. This is like torturous for me to watch. <sighs> All right, so I have wiped it on my lids. And then Mackenzie goes in with something darker for her crease. So I'm going to try, which one do you think for the crease? Which one did you just put on your lid? That one, I think. This one? That one, okay. All right, so I changed it from what I said. I think I did that on my lid, and I'm gonna do that on my crease. In your crease. In my crease. Is this right? Windshield wiper motions. There you go. See, you need to stay in your crease. You're going a little bit above. Yeah, that's not good. Don't go so far over here. Ah! How do I fix that? <laughs> can I use this? No! Do my... No, 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 no. Don't. <laughs> well, seriously, how can I fix that? Blend. Not with your finger. Mom, stop. Don't go as far into your inner corner this time and stay in your crease. Don't just be sloppy with it. Stay in your crease. Windshield wiper motions. It's not how we did it in the 80s. Well, this isn't the 80s. Look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. All right, so the next she does Curl. mascara. She no, curls her eye. Okay, she curls her eyelashes. I'm not gonna do that. Why not? Because I don't know, I didn't bring my eyelash curler. Here. Why is this not working? Mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem? Mine is different than this. My lashes are like white from all this powder. <laughs> That's why this is one of the last steps. To re-blacken them. Uh, there, okay. Nice. <laughs> and my favorite mascara is a little risque, I think, but it's called It's So Big by Elizabeth Mott. And this is Mine's not... Mine's worse. What is yours? Better than sex. Oh, you know what? I've tried that and it's not. <laughs> um, it's not waterproof, but it's really close to waterproof. Stays on... See again, I like makeup stays on like all day. Can't sweat it off, doesn't can't rain it off, can't cry it off. Stuff is really good. Oh yeah, make that mascara face. Let me just say, if there's one thing my mom can actually do with makeup, it's mascara. That is like her best thing that she can do with makeup. She's like a pro at it. Except she likes spider lashes. They haven't been very spidery lately, which is good. But spidery is, like, not in right now. Do you do bottoms? I do, but I have something else I usually like to do bottoms with. Because I tend to get mascara all over the place when I... Usually she gets it all over her eyelids. I do. I have a little bit on this eyelid, but it's not bad. I don't know why you were telling people you think I'm good at mascara. Well, it's your best step out of all of it. This is at least a skill that I've had since the 80s that is still worthwhile. All right. So what I like to use for my under eye. You mean your bottom lashes? My bottom lashes is from Clinique, this little... Oh, I don't know what it's called, but it's for bottom lashes. And it has a little tiny brush. And this also isn't waterproof, but it has really good long wear. Which you need for your bottom lashes. Well, if you're you. Actually, you know what? This formula is called their long wearing formula because you can get it in like the full size brush for your upper lashes. And I have used that and I like that second best after this It's So Big. Because like the It's So Big, it's not waterproof and it's not hard to get off. But it 
stays on really good. And I have like a little clump. A clump is a little clump. And I'm probably just gonna leave it because I'm gonna muff it up if I go at it anymore. Okay, so looks like we're just about to the last thing. Look how much better everything looks with mascara. I know, I love mascara. <laughs> if, you, if I don't wear anything, I'll wear mascara and eyebrows. That makes all the difference. So Mackenzie puts on uh, lip gloss, which I'm going to put on as well. However, I should get my setting spray. Cause she does do setting spray at the end too. Is um, I'm also going to do lipstick underneath because it'll make the gloss last a lot longer. And I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Lipstick in, I don't know what the color is, but it's 123. Wait. I've been using this for a couple of years now. It's great. So when you put this on, it takes a couple minutes to dry. It gets very dry and it feels like uncomfortable, but the other end of this liquid lipstick, oh, you can't really see it because I've like used it up. I'll show you another one. It comes with its own balm, lip balm, and the lip balm is clear. And once you put the lip balm on, it like feels so comfortable there. It feels so comfortable and great. Like your lips, it's so, so comfortable and it lasts for hours and hours. It's really good. And if you want to make it last like super extra long, you could do what I'm going to do in a second. I'm not going to put that bomb on. I'm going to put on lip gloss like Mackenzie put on. And if you saw my other video where I got Jeffree Star's The Gloss, I have this lovely bronze color gloss that in a second when this is all dry, I'll put over top. And She's going to be iconic. I know. Kayaks. Look out. Oh my God. Um, I'm going to be iconic all over the lake while I'm kayaking. <laughs> Yeah. No. Yes. Nice. <laughs> All right. Ah, so that's nice and dry now. I'll put this on over. Ooh, that looks so good. I love the way this smells. All right. So the last thing Mackenzie does is she puts on setting spray. So I didn't want to use my setting spray, but because she did it, I'm going to do it. All right. So in my FabFitFun box, I got this cool ass setting spray and it's 30 SPF. Although how in the world would any sun even get through all this makeup anyway? And unfortunately... Well, if you don't wear that much makeup. Yeah, I know. And who would wear this much makeup? Well, well a lot of people. I was going to say, and go kayaking, but I mean, a lot of people would probably wear this much makeup and go out in the sun, go out. This nozzle's like, a, got like a tiny clog on it, so when I spray it, it's mostly mist, but then I get like a couple <laughs> shoots of like liquid, so let me try. No, that looks pretty. How much are you doing? I don't know how much you're supposed to put on. Not that much. Smells good though, doesn't it? Oh, I love the smell of this. Wait. Oh, it's that expensive. I can't smell it. Hold what? On. Oh, now I can. It like took it's a the second. expensive store smell. In the heck is All this? right. So. Look, you don't look so bad now. Now. Look, you look good. I'm ready to go kayaking. Look, that actually <laughs> looks pretty good, doesn't it? Well, if you think it looks pretty good, then we have Maddie, sorry, Mackenzie Ziegler. If you like how- Stop fluffing your hair. Ah, it's the 1980s hair. I can't help it. So if you well, think- Don't you think that actually looks good? You know what? It's, this needs to be covered up to here so that you can't see how my <laughs> neck is like a different color. But other than that, yeah, it does look pretty good, especially with my hair like down and everything. Um, well, if you think it looks pretty good, you have- uh, Mackenzie Ziegler. To it thank. was very questionable at first, <laughs> but um. But I think it turned yeah, out pretty bad, good. Actually, you would go out like that, wouldn't you? If you think I, I look good enough to go out like yeah. that, I would. <laughs> you look good. What do you do? Then you go like this. Oh wait, I don't know how. To... Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Well, there we have it. Um, Hi! <laughs> thanks to Kylie Cats 22 for finding me this nice and simple tutorial that I think I pretty 
much as she succeeded at. And if you would be so kind as to like and subscribe, that would be super awesome. And then also, I have something for them to comment down below. Okay, if you guys would like to see her try to do a makeup, what? I might never look this good again. <laughs> want to remember it. If you guys want to see her try to do a makeup look with colorful eyeshadow, leave a comment down below because I really want her to try colorful eyeshadow and she's like scared. So. Baby steps. Baby steps. I think she looks good. Like, there's room for improvement, but I think she could like legitimately go out like this. Don't you think you look good? I look good in the camera. You look good IRL. I feel like, I don't know. I look, I feel like I look very fake up close. No, you look good. Anyways. Look, I'm allergic right here. I know. We're going to a dermatologist to find out why she breaks out in red spots randomly. They only last like five minutes at a time, <laughs> then they just go away. Um, please like and subscribe. And turn on the bell. Turn on the bell for notifications. When she posts. It's really when I post because I'm her editor and I post, but And I love you. Be safe.